Hello, it's uh, Bishop Philip here. I recently had a letter from a member of the House of Lords. It was from an hereditary peer, a man whose family line goes back many, many generations. What amazed me about his letter was its letterhead embossed in red and gold. For after his name were literally three lines of abbreviations, letters indicating all his civil and military honours, all his various degrees and qualifications, and all the many academic and professional bodies to which he belonged. How on earth he remembers all of those, I just don't know. Titles, of course, are important, and one of the best-loved features of the Church's liturgy in Advent are the seven great O antiphons, set to music in that popular carol, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. These O antiphons are said by the Church in evening prayer, the office of Vespers, over the seven last days of Advent, leading up from the 17th of December to Christmas. The O antiphons go back to the monasteries of the 6th and 7th centuries. They are prayers addressed to the Messiah, to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, asking him to come once again into our lives. Each uses one of his titles, O Wisdom from the Mouth of the Most High, O Leader of the House of Israel, O Root of Jesse, O King of David, O Morning Star, O King of the Nations, O Emmanuel. Each title comes from the Old Testament, from Prophet Isaiah or from one of the other prophetic writings. After addressing our Lord, a prayer is added, adapted to the title, such as the one chosen here, O come, Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, come and save us. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, Christmas come early. We usually use it when a happy surprise occurs, something unexpectedly gratuitous. I remember my dad saying it when he won the lottery. Oh, and by the way, let me just clarify you, in case you start speculating, he won a hundred pounds. Yet there is a deep truth here, for Christmas is entirely a gift, a gift from God, a person gift, Jesus Christ, who brings salvation. We adore him as the Emmanuel, he who fulfilled the words of Isaiah, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. Emmanuel is a title very relevant to us at the moment in the midst of a pandemic. It reminds us that no matter what we're suffering, no matter what is going on in our lives or in our families, God is with us, a loving Father, helping us with his mercy and strength. So let us pray. O come, Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, the hope of the nations and their Saviour, come and save us, O Lord our God.